Criminal Enterprises update has been out for about a week now. Most viewed is underwhelming, but some returning solo players like myself, uh, some of the features added has been an opportunity to catch back up and start making big money online. One of the features I was most encouraged by is the ability to play CEO jobs in a closed lobby, removing one of the biggest problems that caused me to leave the game almost entirely. Griefing. I'm pretty sure the entire community hates those Oppressor Mark II owners that just have it out for those who want to chill and make money. Now this video wasn't made for those who are well established, it was made for the returning players that aren't really well established, don't have access to Kyle Perico. Uh, so it's based on one of the more affordable CEO missions you can begin investing into, and that's exporting goods. Now to get started, you'll need to have at least 1.5 mil to buy the CEO building in a small warehouse if you don't own them already. Uh, this will allow you to start sourcing goods via crates. Uh, some of these sourcing missions are just designed to tilt you like this one. When buying goods, there are three options to choose from. One crate for two grand, two for eight, and three for 18. Now most videos I've seen say that you earn about 280,000 per hour when you sell a fully stocked small warehouse. It's pretty high from my experience. I see it around anywhere from 230 to 280, but what if I told you it was actually half of that? It costs around 96,000 to fill a small warehouse when buying three crates at a time, assuming you weren't lucky enough to get a hot cargo. Then it'll be around 116,000. But if you buy one crate at a time, it nets a whopping guaranteed 400% plus profit for a full small warehouse after dropping the investment to 32,000. Plus, as you stock your warehouse, buying one crate at a time, your chance at the very, very profitable hot cargo is increased dramatically since you're constantly cycling through the cargo pool, just barely bringing that investment to 62,000. Now there are things you can quickly do to earn more money in between cooldowns, such as delivering your mixed good for 50,000, finding and delivering stolen drugs for 10,000, auto shops car exports for 20, and not commonly known daily time trials netting you 102,000 for beating it, amongst some other things as well. It took 3 hours of game time to complete this, but I ended up making 449,000, around 150,000 an hour after investment compared to around 120 to 140 an hour using the standard three crate method. If you can get lucky and score the hot cargo with, with the three crate method, this will overcome the gap, but it's so unlikely it's almost worth not to do. If you do end up using this method, let me know in the comments down below, tell me how it went. I'd love to hear your experience of what kind of a time you had and what your profits were. If you liked this video, click the like button. If you didn't, click the dislike, but tell me what you didn't like so I can fix it in the next one. Subscribe and click the bell icon if you want to see more content from me as I'm going to start uploading more often. Bring either more tips and tricks or funny content. Listen, I know the clip of the mission didn't seem that bad, but I was absolutely tilted.